All right, we're going to talk about texture coating your fake rocks. Uh, today we're using a technique where we spray the cement on. It's actually a mortar mix, and that's sand and Portland cement with a good amount of acrylic admix. You want to have some kind of acrylic admix in your mud to make it stick better to the substrate, if you will, the shotcrete or concrete rocks that you've made uh, prior to this step. So what I do, I do a number of different things. I do some stamping and sometimes, and we spray some stuff on, and sometimes you just hand throw it and then trowel it and brush it and, and uh, finish it out that way. But today we're actually gonna be doing the spray technique, which we've already done a little bit in the back. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a, uh, a close up and talk to you about that right now. <laughs> As we can see, there's some color over here and one of the tricks that I've come up with is using fog coat, which is a stucco product. And that product comes in many different colors, but of course you'd want to use earthen tones. You, and, you know, I mean, unless you want to make your rocks pink and purple, <laughs> you could do that too, I guess. But it has sort of a brown, uh, the colors I have are sort of a brown. Then I've got a cream, which is more of a light color. And then I've got a green that you can see down right over there in that area. And that green is, um, is nice. I put that in the lower areas, kind of use sections of the stone, have one color that have a different color and then separate your stones, have a color here that's the cream. And then this is more of the orange and you, you make two different colors. It gives a sense of uh, authenticity to your rock work. Um, it, it's because a lot of times I see rocks that are all the same color and they blend together and that's not, that's not really as uh, natural looking. We see the real thing right here in the midst of all this. This feature has r real rocks right mixed into it. And then behind it, we have our artificial that we added there, which looks pretty darn cool. So you start off with your shock created uh, basic shapes. And here's an example of that right here. Uh, we shock created it and then we came back and added more concrete and shaped it out and gave it some more peel aways and some fault line cracks to give it more of a natural look. You know, and you want to study the real thing to get an idea of what that's all about and how they really look. So this structure right here is a shock treated or concrete faux rock shape. This was actually a rebar bubble with burlap on the inside and then we blew the cement on and then we came back and added some more just to finish out the shapes. The water feature you're looking at is going to start up here. Waterfall will drop, come through the little, little, little narrow, arrow, air, narrow uh, area there and there's a pinch point. It'll come down to a pond right there and then it'll come around and cru cruise around these rocks and get a pinch point here which will be cool and then come on down into the pool behind me. So I'm going to be uh, blowing on the texture coat with a hopper. It's very simple. <coughs> little hopper you use to put on texture on a drywall and so uh, we mix that one to one and um, Go ahead and we go ahead and uh, blow that on with just a nail gun a compressor as you can hear sometimes in the background. So my trusty assistant Daniel helping me out, my son Daniel. Um, and so now I'm going to pick up the hopper and I'm going to blow it on and we're going to see what it looks like and I'll show you the technique. You want to aim straight perpendicular to the surface that you're shooting your, your uh, mud on, whatever, whatever the rock is. If you come at an angle it starts to create little waves on the on the uh, rock surface that doesn't look as natural and there's some but sometimes you have to kind of shoot at an angle but you can come back later and trial a little bit but it's a good idea to try and stay perpendicular to the rock so again it's just a hopper and <coughs> the nozzles i think it's a quarter inch a nozzle three eighths size on the tip here and you have a i have a valve here so i can turn the, the air on and off and then you just squeeze it and let her go. Again, we mix it up one to one ratio about. We add Portland cement into the mix and that gives us a mix that comes through the hopper usually pretty good. We're actually using a product from Home Depot called Spec Mix. And you buy 94 pound bags and uh, 60 pound bags pre-mix. So we add Portland into that. We add a whole bunch of the uh, Sika acrylic add mix and that allows us to be able to have a much stronger mix, more durable, less water penetration sticks to the uh, raw concrete a little bit better. So when you're putting it on, you just pull the button and off you go.
Now you can see how the <laughs> spray goes on. It creates sort of a spit pattern, but it also fills in a lot of the irregularities that are in the, uh, the basic substrate, the basic structural rock that you've created. It can be really rough, but the, the mortar mix sprays in there real nice and kind of fills that in. And so it's, it's a real nice finish. <laughs> it goes pretty fast and you get pretty good coverage. So we'll keep on going. See that nice spit pattern right there? These are the cracks that I put in before in the raw concrete. And so if you can have strong, deep cracks that you put in in the thick structural mud, and then you come back with the texturing uh, system, as it were, with the blow on the blown on texture, and it comes out real nice. get an idea of how to blow on texture for your fake rocks. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's a little little hopper you can get at Home Depot or one of the big box stores for nothing. Get a, you know, nail gun compressor or any kind of compressor really, and your hose and you hook it up. Mix again that one-to-one -one ratio of Portland cement to sand. If you're going to do the, you're going to mix up the raw batch yourself, or you can just buy a pre-mixed mortar and get it done that way. So, <laughs> anyway, talking about uh, spraying on your texture coats on rocks. If you want to learn more how we do this stuff, go to www.davehenderson.podia.com. That's my name, Dave Henderson.podia, P O D I A.com. I got a little store there and I got free PDF downloads and stuff and uh, a lot of free content. I've got some stuff on my Facebook page, which you can find links to, uh, and my YouTube channel on uh, davearhenderson.com. So you can also read blogs there as well. So I'm trying to put stuff out there for you guys. You can learn how to do this stuff and have some fun. So, anyway, there you go little taste of the texture coating system that uh, that I come up with anyway and uh, how we uh, color it we throw on the fog coat and that's the stuff that you see and we have it in buckets and you just throw it on and you get that from a, a stucco supply house that will be able to take care of that it's called fog coat and just get three or four colors that are natural colors and then you just throw them on and 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 show uh, put the colors on in a different pattern you know faces of the stone you want to put it on separate stones make them a different color so this the stones look separate they don't look all together you want to avoid doing everything the same color which human beings tend to do so anyway there you go texture coating 101 for you guys out there hope you learned something if you have any questions send me an email or a message and i will do my best to get back to you and answer your questions so Remember to be forgiving and grateful. Get those two things dialed in real good in your life and you're going to be awesome. You're going to have a great life. You're going to be happier. People around you will be happier. I've tried it the other way. It's not good. <laughs> so, Anyway, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching my stuff and I hope this was helpful for you. Talk to you soon.